Hey guys, it's Ariva and I'm back. Today I'm going to be showing you how I bring refinement to my natural curls and get them to last all week long. I've tried hundreds of curling products over the past few years and this is the only one that seems to be working. So today I'm going to be using AG Recoil Curl Activator. It's a very, very rich cream and it has enough moisture to tame all of my frizz. So I normally take about a dime size and I rub it into my hands until it gets nice and sticky and then I just scrunch it into my hair. Is that a technical term? Scrunch? And you basically just want to distribute the product as evenly as possible and I'll do this several times until I feel like there's enough product in my hair. I normally do about three dime sized portions for my hair. If your hair is a lot finer then you probably only need to do one or two and if your hair is a lot thicker then you just use it accordingly. And my hair is actually soaking wet. I just towel dried it slightly just so that it's not dripping. And I'm going to be clipping my diffuser attachment onto my blow dryer. This one came with my blow dryer, but you can also find adjustable ones that attach to any blow dryer if your blow dryer does not already come with one. And for the temperature settings on my blow dryer, I like to keep it at a high heat and low air. The high heat helps to set the curls into place. And by keeping the air setting on low, it just gives you a lot more control when you're styling your hair. If you keep it on high, your hair just starts flying all over the place and starts getting really frizzy. So high heat, low air. You want to try and gather your hair into the diffuser and you want to direct the heat towards your scalp. So I do this by tilting my head either to the side or forward. By directing the heat towards your scalp, you're allowing the curls to coil together. If you just start blow drying directly into your hair, it's just going to get really, really frizzy. To get a nice coil going in my hair, I rock the diffuser back and forth and make my way towards the scalp. And then I just hold it in place for several seconds and just drop the curls. I also like to reinforce the curls by squeezing them with my hands ever so often. You really just have to remember to tilt your head into the diffuser and direct the heat towards your scalp. You want to remove about 70 to 90% of the moisture from your hair, but if you notice that your hair is starting to get frizzy and it's not 70% dry, then just stop diffusing your hair and it's best to let it air dry. I like to give the diffuser a little bit of a wiggle just to get the curls really nice and fluffy. And I'm just flipping my hair back and forth just to make sure I haven't left out any wet clumps of hair. And you're done! You can leave it just like this, but I'm actually going to bring a little bit more refinement to these curls just so that they last me all week. My hair is actually not as curly as it used to be before I started lightening my hair, so I have a lot of these random scraggly pieces around my face. I'm going to grab my 19mm wand and I'm going to start curling my hair and there's actually no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm curling. I'm just picking up pieces that I feel aren't as refined as everything else and you don't want it to be a perfect curl. The goal is to blend these pieces into your natural hair. So I'm actually just wrapping it in every direction possible and I'm holding it only for a few seconds because I don't want a perfect curl. So I'm just flipping my hair back and forth in whichever way I'm actually going to be wearing it. And I'm just grabbing just a few pieces around my face. And I'm definitely leaving the ends out of the wand because that's what will help it blend into my natural hair. This technique actually works really well because all of the hair that sits on top of your head looks nice and refined from the wand and all of the hair underneath works as a cushion to hold everything up. And I probably curled only about four pieces back here. And they look really nice and perfect right now, but I'm going to shake out my curls very aggressively and that's what's going to blend everything together. Thank you. 
My husband likes to call this move the rock star. Every time I'm doing it, he walks by, he's like, what are you rock starring for? <laughs> Don't forget to pineapple your hair and sleep on a silk pillowcase to help this style last all week. And there you have it, a nice polished finish to some wild hair. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys on the next one. Hi. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you hiding from mommy? <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? What's so funny? There she is! <laughs> Where's Nils? Where's Nils? Owie! Do you like mommy's hair? Does it look nice? Does it look nice? Do you like it? Is it pretty? Where are you going? Joe! What's that? What is that? What's going on with your curls, nails? What happened to your hair? Do you like mommy's hair? Is it nice? Did daddy do your hair? Did daddy do your hair today? Hmm? Like this? Bye. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog millennialmama.ca for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.